Hey fellow nerds, so we just had a great success <clears throat> on getting, um, oh, I forgot, I actually don't have 30 quarts, but we still got a great success, and those are rare, and so we're going to take a moment to do a couple of summonings, obviously I can't do the times 10, but let's do some other summonings to see if we get lucky. It's too bad. I should have had. I should have taken the opportunity to buy more Saint Quartz earlier, and I forgot, folks. So we're just gonna do it with a couple of uh, the stuff I got lying around. See if we get anything good. Nice, nice, very nice. I kind of was hoping to get that card, but I mean, I have enough assassins, but I kind of want that one. Okay, so really I would have been happier with... Um, any of the other four star characters because as you guys know I've been looking for the Berserker or um, I can't remember who the other one is it's not the Lancer but there's another one but this would be a nice character to have as far as having an assassin because I don't have an assassin in the Fate Apocrypha now this particular character Jack the Ripper has been around for a while though I'm not a big fan of as you ascend this character it's got a Got a really, got a really creepy Lolita thing going. You know, it's it's kind of creepy. It like borders child, certain child uh, restrictions, we'll call it. Because um, if I say the word, I'll probably get banned from YouTube. But um, it, it's just when you ascend this character, it, it, this because this looks like a little girl. Really, what the, the I don't know if it shows in the profile. By the way, folks, Murder on a Misty Night, very cool thing. You get I I like evades. So they talk about this in the character info. This is the way it really works, guys. They talked about this in the um. In the anime, this character Jack the Ripper is made up of all the aborted children. Or the children that died young in London, and they all they all come together to form this one character, which personifies Jack the Ripper. It's why the character always refers to itself as we, or something along that lines, because it's made up of multiple characters, and it's very creepy. To be honest, it's extremely creepy. There's a whole couple episodes about this character. They had to handle this particular character in the series um separate from the other characters they didn't even really join in the war it was causing problems on its own the um the quote-unquote master that it latches on to is really just some random woman um that was i think going to be used as a sacrifice by the original master that summoned this character and because this character has an affinity for women and the person that summoned it was a man, it kind of latched on, it killed the man that summoned it and latched on to the woman instead and saved the woman. Because like I said, it's made up of a whole bunch of aborted children. So of course it would latch on. Now the irony is, is that this particular character is a very not, it doesn't harbor a hatred for women, but because it's made up of aborted children, and some children probably that their parents killed. Um, the thing is, is that it does have, um, uh, well, let's, let's put it this way, folks. Um, let's try, let's see, let's show you the Noble Phantasm. Apply special attack female status to yourself and effect increases with overcharge. Deal significant defense ignoring damage to a single enemy. Notice how they apply special attack female status. This character does more damage to female characters. Why? 
because of the history behind the character, which is why I'm explaining it. Because it doesn't really hate all women, but it's not a big fan of some women, which is why it takes a great amount of pleasure in killing certain women um, in the actual, um, well, women servants um, during the actual anime series. And uh, as far as the ones that it was really killing, it, it has no affinity for male or female, except for the fact that it goes after mages because it's using their hearts basically to survive. And it's a really creepy character, and it's an extremely creepy character, and is the whole thing about it being about you kind of have to read into the background of this. They don't really explain in the in the anime that it's based upon aborted children, but they hint at it, and then when you read into the character bios online, you figure out what's really going on as a whole, and it's really a creepy thing. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens based around this. Um, and the, the character, um, let's just say it's not just causing problems that create their own storyline in the anime, but at the same time, this character creates problems through its own death when they finally defeat it. It creates problems that lead on to future problems. So the character was a real pain in the butt in the anime series. As far as in the game goes... It is a fairly good character to have um, as you level it up. Uh, let me see if I can find it here real, far, real quick, guys. Um, see how it increases your attack strength by 50%? Um, that's important. See how surgery, folks. Okay, so these two things right here. Surgery, good for healing yourself. Awesome. Good for healing actually any of your servants. And the information erasure... Good for knocking off any buffs that your opponents have given themselves, which is helpful. I'm particularly the murder, murder on a Misty Night A and the Surgery E. Those are the ones I'm really keen on. But the irony is to get to the Surgery E, the, cl the cloak slash looks like a man's coat that it's wearing. It loses more of its garment and turns into a creepy kind of kitty you know, not suitable for adults if you catch my drift. And it's really disturbing. I've seen the actual character. But as far as using it for the Fate Apocrypha thing, it's good to have a five-star assassin that I can use um, while I'm trying to finish off the um, Fate Apocrypha event. So I'm really happy about this character. And a lot of people have this character, and it's a good all-around assassin character to have. Problem is, it's going to be a pain in the butt to level it up. Um, and like I said, the more you <laughs> send this character, I like the way my friend Chris said it. Uh, my friend Chris Bumby, he's like, he's not into what the character looks like. And because the clothing gets a little on the skimpy side, and this character looks like a child even though it's age-wise, it's really kind of not. But it really does. And it just shows you, folks, that in Japanese culture, this kind of stuff is acceptable. But here in America, it just is creepy. And it's it's practically asking to be, you know, thrown in prison. <laughs> so it's just really disturbing. That's the only reason I don't like this character. Next to that, there's a lot of good factors, but it's actually a lot of, I have to say, folks, a lot of people, you're allowed to choose as you ascend the character what this card looks like and what um, this this right here, folks, the, um, the, the card for the Noble Phantasm, and these cards down here for command cards, you're allowed to change what they look like. Some people will, even though you've, level the character up we'll keep the picture the way it is right now because it's so creepy it is and here in america we don't get into that young children thing or at least the people that do they're in jail <laughs> so and if they're not they should be <laughs> so that's just one of the disturbing things about this character and i had to talk about that because me and my friend me and my friend chris bumby 
We really don't get into this character. But for this event, it's good to have this character. And it's good to get another five-star servant. And look what we did, folks. We got that five-star servant um, from getting a great success. I, I think that really helped out. And getting one of those grand summons. Uh, at least, no, actually, I stand corrected, folks. We used some St. Quartz. So I, I used free St. Quartz to get this. I forgot we ran out of grand summon tickets. So we did okay. And as you can see, Siegfried, that was the other character I was hoping to get my hands on. Um, but I'll take it. I will take it. I'm happy. I didn't roll on this one because I actually figured the odds were pretty favorable. I'd get another um, Shiro, even though I really would have loved to get a Karna, just because knowing my luck. So, I and I like I said, I really want some of the um, four-star characters here in the background and I would have taken one of those hands down. Now, while I've got you guys on, this was a very quick broadcast. I actually did not expect to get a great success. I've been getting super successes all evening, and I've been skipping over them. But when a great success comes along, you guys can see why it's good to roll. Roll when you get a great success. Roll! If you have a times 10... Even better. I bet we could have rolled at least two servants tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if we rolled a five-star servant and got one of the four-star servants. I wouldn't have put it past it. But I thought about buying St. Quartz earlier, and I completely forgot. It's been a long day. For those of you um, that don't know, I'm on vacation. Um, so the thing is, is I got my car fixed today. Uh, praise the Lord. Um it was done in a timely manner. I don't know how much it's going to charge me, but I don't think it's going to be much because he couldn't have possibly done too much in the hour and a half that he, he worked on it. So the thing is that my guess is, is it, it was relatively inexpensive. So And as long as the muffler don't fall off my car, I'm happy with that. I'd also like to shout out to our new subscriber who... My apologies, my good man. I don't recall what your name was. I only looked at it briefly. And I wasn't even planning on making a video tonight, folks. This was just off the bat um, or off the cuff, some, as some people say. Um, the thing is, is that I only did it because I have not run into a great success in many a while. And usually, as well. We saw tonight when I get a great success, if I can do it within the time frame, I usually get something good. And we definitely proved that tonight. Now, I could have tried to um, do a few other things. And maybe I should have. Maybe I should have tried on this. I could have gotten something better. Um, that Chiron character that I want. Or any number of things I could have done. But, hey, you know what? My thanks to the game designers for giving us the times two um, chance of getting uh, a super or great success because that is why this has become more possible to get more good servants because as you guys have been seeing, we've been getting a lot of good servants here, some of which weren't even fate apocrypha characters. Uh, it's too bad they were duplicates, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so like I said, folks, I'm on vacation so, um, I've been checking my old bank accounts. I'm doing pretty good. I can afford the St. Quartz. I'm really looking forward to what's next. Um, as far as the Fate Apocrypha event goes here, um, we have gotten past just about the raid points. I think the final raid battles are now being finished up. Um, so my main goal now is to be able to keep my Sieg, my Sieg, because it's hard to hear me say that, but Sieg card and keep that particular character when the event is over. Um, and I'm trying to collect on some other stuff, and I'm just trying to earn some uh, Drac Dracul, and I just cannot say that right tonight, guys. Um, I'm trying to collect those coins so that I can keep trying to maybe get um, some of those Leafs of Remembrance to um, ascend uh, Sieg when I get a moment. And... Um, uh, you know, I have to first get the card, so it would be helpful. But I can't seem to find, unlike previous events, I can't seem to find where 
you get him full time. I don't know what's going on with that. So like I said, I'm still collecting coins in case I had to reach a certain point with that. Because a lot of times that's what happens, but I don't know. I, I haven't been able to figure out exactly what's going on, but I'm going to be definitely looking into it. You can you can bet your money on that. And the event's still going on pretty good, and the event goes on for a bit longer. Let's take a look-see, guys. Real quick, like, though, I want to check out something. There's something... What's limited time? By the way, guys, if you haven't noticed, I have enough uh, of these mana prisms where I could unlock the Spiritron dress for... Um, what's his name here? Oh, Astolfo. But, and of course, as you can see, guys, we have five new summon tickets. So, summon tickets are a lot more important to me. I think that's what the limited time thing it wanted me to look at was, was the summon tickets are back. Um, could have been these star foods, possibly, too. I'm not sure. But, anyway, thing is that um, we'll be looking into those summon tickets down the road because I would like to grab those since I have so many. Now, they'll cost me 100 prisms, which will put me below the 1,000 count. But as you can see, folks, look how long we have for that, that Spiritron dress. And frankly, a stall full of dressing up in women's clothing is not really appealing to me. <laughs> it really isn't. I, I can't make this crap up, guys. It's the kind of stuff they get into over in Japan. There's just nothing I can do about it. While we have a moment, guys, while we're here, let's... um. Oh, no, actually, I forget. I can't do that in this thing, so never mind. We were going to exchange some... uh. Uh, St. Quartz fragments in for some more St. Quartz, but yeah, pfft, doesn't matter at this point. So let's go on and check, guys. Um, I'm sorry for holding everybody up. Like I said, this video was just on the fly. That's the that's the uh, saying I was looking for. It was on the fly. So the thing is, is that I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, and I'm trying to make a long enough video to make this all worthwhile. Holy crap, the Lancer has almost been defeated. Wow. And then, as you guys can see in the bars here, there's a lot more to go with some of these before they're fully undefeated. I am going to bed soon, so I am not staying up and defeating these guys. Over in Japan, where it's daytime now, they can beat the crap out of these guys. I don't care. <laughs> Assuming that's what they're doing, or people are staying up late, kind of like I am. I don't know. Um, what we're actually looking for, guys, is we actually didn't need to come in here. Uh, excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Looking for the news. And what we're going to do is we're going to check out. Da, 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 da. And as you can see, this event is going on till the 7th. So, plenty of time. Um, I was going to play my Animal Crossing game tonight, but I don't know. I think I've done everything I'm going to be able to do. So, um... Let's see here real quick, guys. Clear the main quest to officially add Zeke. So you have to clear the main quest, but I still haven't figured out how to do that yet. That's the kicker. I think I know how, but I'm not positive. Here's what I'm looking at, guys. The raid battles are stopping tomorrow. They're going to keep going on, but they should be stopping any time now. Because tomorrow... Um doesn't necessarily mean tomorrow in the conventional sense it could mean tomorrow as in over here on the east coast we've already skipped over it's two in the morning so as far as this is concerned it could already be tomorrow um but here's what we're looking at guys um let me see if i can find it oh, oh, oh here we go so through friday and there it goes and then it just keeps going and going and going and going and going I have a hunch once this is all clear, it's done. That's it. So, here's what you're supposed to be getting, and here's what I'm trying to still claim. And, of course, here's the servants we're trying to get, and that's why I'm kind of happy. I just got an assassin because I would have liked Sammy Ramis, but, um, you know, I'll take what I can get. So, anyway, guys, um, I'm just looking for the back button here. I'm trying to get to the bottom. Here we go. Um, 
real quick before we end this, guys, let's um let's take a look at something. Usually what happens is this. As you complete the raids, certain things unlock. Let's just take a quick look and see. Nothing here. Nothing here. As you can see, I've been working my little tail off getting a few of these done. Nothing here. Okay, nothing here, except for raid battles. If um, there was part of the storyline, what would happen is it would show up probably on the top, to be honest. Okay, nothing here, I don't think. No, okay. And so on and so forth, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we're looking for something that would be a reddish color. For any of you that play the game, you know exactly what I'm looking for. So what I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm looking at it right, is when the rest of the servants have been pushed back, it's going to open up one of the final story mode type things that is going to finish it off. Now, I don't know if there's a prerequisite to doing it. I think all that you have to do to unlock it is just to beat all these battles. Now, I don't know if you have to actually, you know show up in each one of these battles. I don't know if you have to beat each one of these characters at least one time to continue on in the story. So a lot of this is guesswork. So basically at this point, we're going to wait and see what happens. We're, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I have not competed in every single one of these. I've only done a handful. Um, see, I have not done a Lancer battle. Um, and let's see. I have not done this particular Berserker battle. But I have done two counts of the assassin battle. And let's see, where's another one? Nothing for this particular berserker, which is the other berserker. And I haven't done this archer. So see, I haven't included myself in any of these battles. So I don't know if it's going to affect me. I think everybody will have the chance to go to the next um, part of the story. And I think it's going to end tomorrow, and then we're going to be able to keep getting stuff. I don't know that for certain. It might not complete itself until later. The, just the raid battles might be over. And the raid battles are good for one purpose, guys. They're good for collecting large amounts of items and uh, Dracul coins. So, ultimately, I can do that, even though it's the longer, harder way, with just these little missions here. So that's where I stand, guys, with doing that. And if any of you are doing, um, if any of you are playing Fate Grand Order and you are doing this Fate Apocrypha thing and you know anything more than what I know about um, getting Sieg as a character, maybe you've already received him. If you know more than I do, please leave something in the comment section. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed Checking out us getting a new five-star servant, even though she's not the five-star servant I would really want. And I already have enough assassin characters, so I got them coming out my butt at this point. But like I said, um, good character as far as certain things, but uh, we're, we're not going to be in a big hurry to ascend that character because she just has this really creepy kitty you know, not suitable for work thing going on. And it's just, it doesn't, it, it makes me feel so dang uncomfortable. <laughs> it's sad. But uh, I tell you, my friend Chunky Jeffrey's watching this video right now and he's watching the girl right here. Uh, Passion Lips is there and basically making fun of her boobs. So there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, this character's just as bad. She's skimpy. And I mean, that's the, that's the kind of stuff, guys, that is just in the in this game with the women and everything like that. As you can see, I've mostly got um, other guys in my lineup right now. There we go. We have nobody showing. <laughs> but um, it's an interesting it's an interesting culture in Japan. Let's just call it that way, guys. They don't believe in. Um, I think they believe in the idea that they sometimes marry off. At least in the good old days. I don't know if they still practice this, but they'd marry off girls to older men 
um, in marriage, you give them away in marriage. You couldn't consummate the marriage, of course, until the girl hit puberty. But pff, I'm telling you, dude, it's a weird freaking culture. Um, and if you, any of you are picking up your stuff from anime, I have a little bit of, you know, actually looking at the culture and when I watch an anime. Let's just say anime doesn't always give you a clear picture of the culture. But a lot of what you see in anime is really it's a fairly good representation of the culture. So when you see these little girls that are attached to these older guys, sometimes the guys are like barely over 18. Sometimes they're not even 18 and they're calling them brother or big brother. Let's just say any of you that live in ignorance, be happy, be happy because I know what that really means. And it's, in American culture over here where we don't believe in that kind of stuff unless you're a pedophile, um, it's it's disturbing. It's very disturbing. So I just had to say that, guys. Uh, so in the meantime, though, I am signing off for the night, guys. I want to get up early in the morning because I am going to start moving um, more stuff from my comic room to my bedroom. And my bedroom is going to go in my comic room. And this is going to be a long trek. And I have to go get my car back in the morning. So lots going on. And uh, the stay-at-home order here in Maine got extended till the end of... what? Now that it's May 1st, it got extended to the end of this month. Happy May 1st, by the way, to everybody. If you are... Any of you are... I don't know why any of you that are watching this would be playing Animal Crossing. But hey, maybe people are fans of both things like I am. Um... Animal Crossing is going into May Day, which is, um, it's this, like, thing that they got doing where they give you a May Day ticket, and you go to this thing called Rover's Maze on an island, and you can collect goodies and stuff like that, and I don't know if there's a prize at the end or whatnot, but it's a, it's a thing they're doing, and, um, I could go on right now and play my Animal Crossing game and check it out, but, as I said... Uh, I've hit my two stores today. They're both closed anyway. And I did a whole bunch of new terraforming stuff today to soup up my town some more. I dug up most of the fossils. I don't really care about bashing rocks or trees or anything right now. And there's not much else going on. So I'm pretty good and set. I really am. I think I can pass up going on Animal Crossing tonight. So I think I am good and done. I'm going to go take an antacid because my stomach's... Uh, bothering me post diesel drip this time of year allergies i hate allergy season it's just not good for me so i'm gonna go take something to settle my stomach and i am gonna pack it in and then uh we'll see about tomorrow guys because keep an eye out i should have more videos coming up in these next few days as i'm off free comic day was utterly brutally murdered on me and my friend Chris Bumby. So we are staying at home. As I said, the stay at home order is in effect. On the good side, comic books are coming back to comic shops. Assuming that you can open the comic shop. They are coming back as of this month on the 20th. So, huzzah. There we go. We got some good stuff. We got some good news in that. And I happen to know that .com is coming back on the 20th so far. Along with the comic books. It's getting them to the customers that it's going to be the hard problem. But they have, a, I think they have a plan. I think they have a plan. So here's a hoping. But in the meantime, guys, lots going on. So much so that I could probably keep this video going on for a while. And really, guys, I think we've done quite a bit for the night. So I hope you guys are having a good evening. Happy May 1st to all of you. It feels like spring is getting that much closer. And I hope that wherever you guys are, you're staying safe, staying healthy. And I hope it's a much better day for you guys where you are because we're supposed to get an inch of rain up here in Maine before the day is out. So I'm not looking forward to this day. I was hoping to go out and do some yard work, but I'm going to have to hold on to that until tomorrow on Saturday. And today, being Friday, will be a good day to start moving stuff in my house. And then here's a hoping... We'll have a brand new comic room set up for you guys soon to show off to everybody. So just a lot going on. And so we're taking the opportunity during this video, guys, to not only show off what's going on in uh, Fate Grand Order 
in what we got for a good, a very good roll tonight, but also taking the time to update you guys on everything that's going on. My apologies, I've kind of been behind on that, and I, I'm really sorry that I haven't been updating everybody on um, what's going on, because there really is a lot more videos that are, there are just, I can think of four videos right off the top of my head right now that I really want to get done before this vacation is over. So we are going to keep pressing forward. Yeehaw! Alrighty, guys, in the meantime, you have a good night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.